requirements when we are going to export the drug for example now co uh, two covid vaccine it is there in our india and uh, both are indian products so suppose if any country which want the indian vaccination so uh, the uh, regulatory body or the proper producer they need to export that one right since it is the uh, what you call uh, pharmaceutical products or vaccination so it required proper types of registration before it go to the other country for the distribution or for the use right so what are the regulatory requirement that we are going to discuss in today class right so when it comes to the regulatory requirement it has to pass through the certain steps uh, where it is it is going to have some documentary proof how we have seen into the previous class right so let's uh, discuss uh, in uh, all around the globe or in the world uh, people are in need of medicines of course now also the many countries they are not able to prepare or they have not passed the phase 3 for the covid vaccine so they need uh, for their people for to be vaccinated so they are they have to depend on to the other country like uh, some of the medicines are manufactured and available them locally for example paracetamol or hydroxychloroquine before also we exported the hydroxychloroquine to us for their when the uh, the covid cases it was increased there right so for the remaining percentage of the drug has to be imported from other countries it is not necessary that each and every country they are able to produce all kinds of medicines all kinds of uh, uh, drugs uh, right some things they have to depend on even india is also not able to produce all types of medication something we are importing from other country and something we are giving to the other country this emphasizes the trade of drugs from one place of the world to another place right so that's what it become a one kind of trade the pharmaceutical trade that's what such a trade must be regulated in either way both ethical and business oriented ultimately the person the organization the pharmaceutical company who are manufacturing those doses from they ultimately their goal is to get the benefit out of get the profit so it is ethical also at the same time it should be business oriented also some of the organization which regulate pharma business are world trade organization wto international trade organization ito and the world health world health organization who right so these are the bodies uh, which are uh, regulating the pharma business throughout the world apart from this every country has to own law and registration uh, legislation for this purpose so local law or uh, regional law also it is there like uh, uh, um, uh, different fda will be there right uh, drug the india occupies a third largest position in the world in the field of pharmaceutical industry as we know that right these industries are regulated by the ministry of health and family welfare and the ministry of chemical and fertilizers so for, for pharmaceutical there is no separate ministry we are very much aware that it is comes under the ministry of health and family welfare and the ministry of chemical and fertilizers so you should remember whatever the drug inspector exam and all the competitive exams uh, which is uh, uh, there in the pharmacy that comes under this particular ministry into the central government despite of this position on pharmaceutical market its a growing economy a well uh, uh, the sophisticated research and development is not affordable due to the various reason to outcome this uh, pitfall the india open up its pharmaceutical market to the multinational companies and uh, it encourage the trading of the drug in Uh, and uh, out of the country that's what foreign investment also started modi government right so that's what it is the vocal for local all of you are very much aware right so now encouraging for made in make in india uh, most of the drugs of the indian market are imported from the european union followed by the north america and asia also india has a special policy for the purpose of import and export called the x i e i x e x i m policy right so export and import manufacturing policy this policy gives way to uh, quantitative as well as qualitative improvement in the field of research and development activities right 
so here the central drug standard control organization that is the cdsco it regulates the import and export of the drug you should remember this one right the uh, central drug standard control organization cdsco regulates the import and export of the drug so which particular organization regulates the import and export of drug that may come in the objective type of question in the country through 11 port offices located in the different part of the country this body or cdsco regulates the manufacture sale import export and uh, clinical research of the drug in india by following rules and act so these are the six acts uh, has been given right drug and cosmetic acts 1940 and the rules 1945 pharmacy act 1948 drug and magic remedy act uh, 1940 1954 medical and toilet preparation act 1956 narcotic and psychotropic substances act 1985 and a drug the drug price control order 1995 right so coming to the uh, here uh, cdcso also work through state authorities while the central authorities are responsible for approval a new drug clinical trial in the country laying down of the standards of the drug control over the quality of imported drugs coordination of the state drug control organization the state authority regulates manufacture sale distribution of drug license drug testing laboratories approving drug formulation of manufacture carrying out pre and post licensing inspection for the drug manufactured and marketed in the respective state so you can see here the central authority <laughs> and the state authority how they are coordinating right so what is the role of central authority they are responsible for approval of a new drug clinical trial so whatever the suppose the the, uh, bio, the biotech hyderabad they manufactured covaxin so ultimately the manufacturing has been done in the telangana but the center of the new delhi the modi government or the bjp government who are in the ruling party they are ultimately going to approve and uh, for the clinical trial and so on right so that's what center and state they both they will be having coordination the new patent uh, regime has a uh, uh, user the in the era the product patient uh, the product patent for the pharmaceutical sector in line with the obligations under the world trade organization wto and uh, trade related aspects of intellectual property rights the trips agreement right so this also it is there in dra trips agreement how it works as a result the indian pharmaceutical industry has become self reliant in several areas and has developed a sounders and a technologically advanced r&d segment right so industry offers several opportunities for investment you can see here the the self reliance displayed by the production of 70% of the bulk drugs uh, low cost production strong specific and innovative technical manpower increased balance efficient and cost effective source for the production of generic drug excellent centers fast growing biotech industries which has the great potential in the no objection certificate or noc for export of unapproved or approved new drug or banned drugs right how we can go what is the regulatory requirements documentary requirements when we are trying to export right when we are trying to export a particular doses from into the outside of the country a manufacturer holding valid license copy in form 25 and a form 28 can obtain no objection certificate for export purpose only for approved and up unapproved new drug banned drug in india the requirement are as per guidelines issued by the ministry of health, uh, health ministry of health and family welfare for export purpose and rule 194 we rule 94 of drug and cosmetic act 1940 right so let's discuss uh, rule related to export of drug from india the first rule the rule 94 packing and labeling of drugs other than homeopathic medicines how it is supposed to be when here it is going for under export labels on packages or containers of drugs of export shall be adopted to meet the specific requirement of the law of country 
to which the drug is to be exported for example name of the drug the name address of the manufacturer or pharmaceutical company and the number of the license under which the drug has been manufactured what is the license number for the drug manufacturing that particular drug which is going for the export then batch or lot number date of expiry supposed to be have right coming to the uh, second one the provision of rule 96 to 101 inclusive shall not apply to a medicine made up ready for treatment whether after or without dilution which is supplied on the prescription of registered practitioner provided that the medicine is labeled with the following particulars for example here once again the name and address of the supplier right here uh, supplier name also supposed to be clearly mentioned the name of the patient and the quantity of the medicine what is the quantity of medicine and what are the name of the patient it is going to be the number representing the serial number of the entry into the prescription register and the dose if the medicine is internal use if it is for internal use what is going to be the dose for that particular medication and the word also supposed to be there in the label for external use only shall be printed on the label of the medicine if uh, is the for external application not for internal application right coming to the b rule number 96 manner of labeling the following particular shall be either printed or in the written form right the first one the drug included in the schedule f or schedule f1 the name given therein like uh, for a uh, drug included in pharmacopoeia and the official commandia of the drug substance uh, standards prescribed in rule number 124 right then next one here uh, you can see uh, 1c uh, it that uh, the for drug included in the national formulary of india the name of name or synonym is specified therein followed by the letter n f i for the drug the international non priority name if any published by the who or not published that also also has to be mentioned the name descriptive of the true nature or origin of the substance. hello sir excuse me sir right yeah sir 1030 we are having a class sir it's 10 to 28 now uh, no no i told the madam uh, you can take later like okay that. okay sir okay sir let me complete this topic then I okay sir okay so now the next one is the guidelines for the export of drug issued by the ministry of health and family welfare what is the guidelines right that we have to uh, consider here during the issue of noc of manufacture of new or new drug solely for export so first guideline the application shall provide copy of valid export order and the noc will be issued on a case by case basis against each such order whatever the order has been issued here in that each such order export order it has to be uh, will be issued in case of case by case basis okay the applicant shall identify the premises where the drug will be manufactured for export whether it is telangana or it is uh, uh, chatisgarh or madhya pradesh or andhra pradesh or gujarat that has to be the applicant should mention whether the batch to be exported has undergone quality control testing shall be tested at the uh, uh, destined designed site where it is going or what the applicant shall ensure the drugs manufactured on the basis of noc given as per the first condition right and uh, it is exported and uh, that no part of it is diverted for domestic sale in india that also should be compiled the applicant shall make the available for <clears throat> inspection of appropriate authorities whoever the body is appropriate for that particular inspection on completion of the export order when the order is completed that much order you have got and it is uh, completed now ready to dispatch 
information regarding each consignment dispatched which has already gone <clears throat> to the different country to the bangladesh bhutan pakistan wherever remaining stock stock of the drug and related raw material and uh, intermediates in hand how much it is there and how much you are going to produce further and what is the order you have received for so and so country the applicant shall also ensure the physical destruction of all unexported quantity of drugs this should be include as an condition of manufacturing license issued to the applicant by the state licensing authority okay so let us uh, see the what a kind of uh, the requirement here it supposed to be if you are going for the applicant shall ensure that the drug for which noc has been given shall cease to be manufactured or exported if the drug is prohibited in future in the country or in the importing country requirement for the common submission format for issue the noc for export right what is the common submission format for noc for the export first one covering letter yes purchase order order from the foreign buyer who is going to the uh, take your buying your manufacturing products either in the name of the manufacturer or trade with the list of products to be exported clearly indicating name of the drugs doses form composition strength pack size duly signed by the company competent authority with specific designation point of the importing country right so manufacturing uh, license here the pro forma invoice the copy of pro forma invoice from the importing country importing country from the suppose india is importing mean india is going to be the importing country should accompany a company with application for import of unapproved active pharmaceutical ingredient or api used in the drug formulation whatever the drug it is formulated it shall be duly signed by the competent authority so registration certificate you can see here the process flow chart for the life insurance of no objection certificate for export the first one obtain the po that order right purchase order the send the sep noc to the cds co central drug uh, the control authority right obtain the acp permission from that particular body who is responsible then prepare the acp application for the manufacture of export of the product then send the acp application to local dca drug control authority right so this is the this is going to be the uh, flow chart of when you are going to export the uh, coming to the conclusion the process of import and export of drug in any country including india is the lengthy process involving the various reviewing and registration process as a result a lot of inputs are required to achieve the core objective uh, to supply the medicine to the public the dnc the drug and cosmetic rule 1945 prescribe various procedure for getting the drug approval to be imported or exported for human veterinary use in the country the rule are latest the rule are very clear prescribing the procedure to be adopted in the regards however it is the tedious task to follow the procedure systematically and the meet the requirements latest amendments are given by the cdsco according to the current law and the trading strategies for the approval of the import and export in india the approval process for import and export of drug in india give an outlook on the entire process to getting the drug imported exported in india the procedures are required the procedures and requirements vary considerably depending on the status of drug applied with what kind of drug you are going to export right so that's what these are the different steps of uh, uh, applying for the export of the drug and you need to reveal 